Last night, uh, Trey Gowdy gave us, uh, I mean, what a wonderful message, right? And he gave us a, I mean, I went to bed thinking about it and I woke up thinking about it. What do you believe and why, right? I know what I believe. I believe uh, many things, but specifically, I believe this is the greatest country that has ever existed. And I believe America is the greatest country that has ever existed because we were founded upon the greatest political document ever written, the U.S. Constitution. But our country is hanging on a precipice right now. I mean, this thing really can go either way, right? And, and I know that my story only takes place here in America. I was born on a pig farm in Southern Alabama. I was born below the bottom rung of the economic ladder. I grew up in a home with no insulation, no running water, an outhouse in the back and a well on the side. When I say poor, we couldn't afford the other O. We were just poor. But, I mean, we were. It was so crazy. You know, my grandmother would ask me to help her in the garden, and I thought she just wanted to spend quality time with me. It wasn't until I grew up that I realized that that in part was for our survival. If we wanted beans or greens or potatoes, I know exactly what it is. This country has allowed me to be able to claw my way from underneath the rock and to be able to create a new life for me and my families. My babies have no idea what it feels like to sit in a dark room because my single parent mother cannot pay for both the rent and the light bills. America allowed me to do that. So many other people, you know, I'm all across this commonwealth, I'm talking to all kinds of people, and I hear this story over and over and over again. But that America is about to come to a close. We either get this right now, or God help us. He said yesterday, uh, uh, last night, Trey Gowdy, we need people who have the ability to persuade. We have the best message to tell. We have the best story to tell. We just keep picking people who suck at telling it. We gotta start picking better people to tell our story. No one can have a story like us. We're not perfect, but there is no one running a close second. When I walk through that door, my very presence neutralizes more than half of Democrats' talking points. That is power in the hands of a Republican Party. <laughs> Democrats are going to come out with guns blazing. I don't care how much money you have. Right? We keep picking people who are the richest person in the room. Y'all know that doesn't matter or else we'll be saying Madam President Hillary Clinton. We need people who will fight for us. Thank you.